My name is Dr. Simbarashe Makuni. I'm the co-founder of Belvedere Medical Center, BMC. And uh, I just thought I would share with you some of my experiences uh, in managing COVID. And, you know, these days you, you get a call and uh, it's relatives running around looking for oxygen, entire need of oxygen. And when you get to uh, speak to them and get the history, you then hear that the patient has been well and uh, for the past 10 days, they've been seemingly doing well, but all of a sudden today, the situation has just deteriorated and they're in dire need of, an, of, 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 of a bed, dire need of oxygen. And can this be prevented? Is there any way that uh, within the first 10 days, there are things that we could do as medical practitioners, you could do as the family to prevent your loved one from getting to that stage where they need uh, urgent attention. And unfortunately, in most cases, when it's at this stage, uh, at the end of the day, when they get to the hospital, they're probably just admitted a few days and they pass on, or sometimes they even pass on in the car. And this is painful. So the concept that I would like to talk about today is silent hypoxia, and this is a silent killer, and this is dangerous. So what happens is when someone gets COVID infection, some people will get some damage to their lungs, and this damage to the lungs is also associated with some inflammatory changes, as well as uh, a state where the body is clotting easily. So when this happens now, it means when you're breathing in, you're not, no, you're not able to take in as much oxygen as you normally require. And this now leads to a low concentration of oxygen within your body. So once you've got a low concentration of oxygen within your body, your organs start getting damaged. And in, in, in other illnesses, whenever your oxygen concentration gets low, the body lets you know, and then you start to hyperventilate, you start to breathe fast, you start to, to, to feel out of breath, and you immediately seek medical attention. But in COVID, this does not happen at times. In COVID, you can, your oxygen levels can get to dangerously low levels, but you feel fine. And this is what's happening where someone has been sick for the past 10 days, they've had a flu-like symptom, and all of a sudden they just present with sadness, sudden shortness of breath. Because what's happening is all this time, your oxygen saturation has been going low, but your body has not been able to tell you. And then when it's now critically low, that's when the body now wakes up and says, hey, we've got very low oxygen levels here. But at that stage, the damage has been done and it's very, very difficult to recover from that side. So how best can we prevent silent hypoxia? How do we know as a family that our loved one is now heading uh, the wrong way? So let me show you a device that I think uh, can be used for this. So this is what we call a pulse oximeter. This is a very, very essential device. So it's very easy to use. All you do is you put your finger and then you take the reading. So you see where it's written SPO2 there? That is the uh, concentration of oxygen. And then the other reading there is just your pulse rate. So we are interested in the, in the first reading, the one that's written 97 there. So normally your body uh, uh, concentration of oxygen is between 95 and 100. But with COVID, uh, you have to monitor your oxygen saturation because if it goes below 92%, that's critical and dangerous and you need to contact your doctor. And in, with COVID, this can happen and you don't even know about it. So this is why you have to make sure that you measure your oxygen saturation. So supposing you've had a PCR test and it's positive, or you've got a PCR test and it's negative, and you do not have any, or, and you have symptoms, please make sure that you buy a pulse oximeter, monitor your saturations speak to your doctor, explain your symptoms so that you can actually get medical attention. And one thing to also look out for is any sudden change in, in your oxygen saturation. Supposing when you started off, 
the saturations were normal, they were 95. Now they're dropping to 92 to 89. So all those sudden drops, you need to get uh, in touch with your doctor so that you can get attention before it gets too late. A lot of the times people are presenting to the hospitals with saturations around 60%. And at that stage, it becomes very, very difficult to recover. Now, if you do not have access to a, a medical doctor, you can actually visit um, our website, www.dialedoczw.com, or you can send us a WhatsApp on 0736135617, and you can have access to a medical doctor at, at, at any time. So please uh, remember that uh, with COVID, silent hypoxia kills, and that we have to make sure that we are ahead of this, and we have to make sure that we get a pulse oximeter, we measure our oxygen saturation, you consult your medical doctor. Please stay safe, and I hope this message has helped someone. Thank you.